This is the Grand Canyon, known for its stunning views, but lesser known for the importance of what runs through it. The Colorado River, which flows through the southwest region of the United States, is able to deliver its water to people of this region through the power of the Colorado River Compact, which was enacted in 1922 by the U.S. Legislative Branch of Government. Because of the Colorado River Compact, aqueducts and canals such as the Olmarin Canal behind us are able to transport its water to counties that depend on it. However, in the midst of drought and climate change, the Colorado River Compact may prove to be problematic in the sense that the river's water supply isn't unending. Currently, the Colorado River water serves 30 million people, but the majority of the water is used to irrigate farmland. In total, the Colorado River's water is used to irrigate 3.5 million acres of water. If the way the Colorado River Compact has been running for 92 years isn't changed, irrigation districts are bound to see the negative effects in the future. We live in the Imperial Valley in Southern California, which uses 97% of their Colorado River water for irrigational use, and only 3% is used in homes. In a region whose economy depends so much on farming, future water shortages could be devastating. My name is Tina Shields and I'm the Imperial Irrigation District's Colorado River Resources Manager. I'm also the Interim Water Department Manager in charge of the conservation and planning programs. So the Colorado River is entering its 15th year of a drought. It's one of the worst droughts on record. It's evidently a very, very significant drought, perhaps one of the worst. Uh, there's been a, an 11 year drought. Now. 11 years of under uh, average, and in some cases in 2002, perhaps a quarter of average uh, rainfall, means that there's an area of the country where 28 million people or more live that uh, is looking towards a future where there may not be, uh, there certainly won't be the water supplies that they've been used to in the past. The Colorado River Compact back in 1922 was just the foresight of those politicians and engineers and, and um, government employees that thought it would be important to define every state's apportionment. Article 1 of the Compact states that one of its major purposes is to protect life and property from floods. Not once does it mention drought or water shortage. The Colorado River, the largest river uh, in the West, no longer reaches the ocean. Right. The government has taken every single drop of water out of the river. The, the good news about the Colorado River system is between Lake Powell and Lake Mead, there's 60 million acre feet of storage. So in the late 90s, we were coming off of really wet, snowpack filled years. At that time, we were lowering reservoirs to prepare for flooding because we, we weren't sure what to do with all of the water. So we basically had a full reservoir. As going into a drought, you're able to use a little bit of water every year. It's like a bank account that you slightly overdraft, but as long as it had a lot of money to begin with, it's no big deal. And, and that's how we've been dealing with the drought. It's been dropping about 12 feet a year, um, more significantly in recent years. Um, but that's one of the benefits of the Colorado River is it's a regional system. It's not as limited as California. Because of the Imperial Valley senior water rights, drought isn't a problem. But that doesn't mean it'll be this way forever. Without irrigation, the valley will return to desert. We're not seeing direct effects per se as far as our supply goes. However, we are very aware of the, of the drought conditions because of how it's impacting other areas. So as other areas are drying up and they become more desperate for water, they are going to start seeking other areas for that water. And so we in Imperial County, especially in the IAD service area, we are a prime target for those other areas, say other states like Arizona, Nevada, big urban cities. We're a direct target for them to look for that additional water. Lake Mead, part of the Colorado River system, is slowly drying up. Because of this, Las Vegas has been forced to search for water elsewhere, including the Imperial Valley. We use the water that we have here, we need because it's our only source of water. And to be able to grow the crops that we do for the world, we have to have a supply of water. Talking, for instance, with our winter produce, about 90% of the lettuce that is consumed in our nation comes from either Imperial or Yuma. We have a significant impact on um, the world's you know, food supply. What does that mean? It means we must have a regulatory system 
in which the participants, public and private, are playing by rules that are understood. We haven't done that in either the public or the private. The Colorado River Compact cannot be changed. However, the river consumption can be managed. The regulations and the use of alternate water sources, future complications may be averted.